So first I'm going to use oatmeal since it has properties that can heal and nourish the skin. It also contains amino acids that will hydrate and improve your skin plus it is hypoallergenic. You can use the big oats or you can use these small types of oats so that it will be easier to apply and to adhere to your skin later. Next I'm going to use milk because it is such a good moisturizer for the skin and this is actually my mom's beauty regimen for making her skin feel smoother. However. If you are allergic to milk or if you have acne, then just abandon or just skip this step. Also, the brand that I'm using here is Alpine and this is an evaporated milk. And I find that this is the type of milk that works best for making my skin smoother. And then I'm going to use pure honey because this is as well a great moisturizer for the skin since it retains moisture, thus making your skin soft and supple. Plus, honey can actually prevent wrinkles. And lastly, I'm going to use two egg whites from those eggs. Since egg whites are known to be a natural anti-aging regimen that is going to tighten your skin. So let's go ahead and get started. Now with the egg whites, I'm going to be adding 4 tablespoons of oatmeal. Just because I'm making this for a lot of people, but you don't really have to put a lot if you're just using this for yourself. And after that, I will be adding 1 tablespoon of honey. And then I'm going to mix them all in. And in this part, you kind of want to slightly-ish beat it so that it'll look like that. And you can stop from right here. As I've said, you don't have to add milk if you are um, allergic to milk. You can actually stop from right here and, and then use that as is. But if you are not allergic to milk, then add two tablespoons of evaporated milk. And then mix it all in. You might want to want this in a porridgey to runny consistency because if it's muddy or pasty, it's going to be hard for you to remove later on. And so I prefer this type of consistency so it will be easier for you to wash off and it won't hurt once it tightens up your skin. Alright, now transfer it into another container. And I actually do recommend that you use this face brush so that it will be easier for you to apply later. I already have some on my forehead, but I just have to refilm this. But basically, if you have any makeup on your face, remove your face makeup. And also use a headband to get your hair out of your face. And when you apply this on your face, apply it in an upward stroke. And also avoid your eye area. I also included my sister in this tutorial because her skin type is dry and she has sensitive skin. And this mask works really well on her. And with me, I actually have oily skin, oily to combination skin, so this mask worked on both of our skin types. And we actually left it on our faces for 30 minutes. And once it tightened up, we washed our faces using warm water. Warm water first to remove the mask, and then afterwards we used cold water to um, close the pores. And then she's gonna towel dry her face. Pat, pat, pat. And once your face dries, your face is gonna feel soft and supple and it's gonna feel squeaky clean. Also, make sure you guys that if you ever try this out, make sure that you're not sensitive to the ingredients that I use. So I hope you guys like this video and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it or if you want more DIYs for the face in the future. And also a hair tutorial is coming up soon. So, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.